All right, guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to cover the wing on this Mugen Civic. So let's just jump into it. All right, as normal, we're going to start by creating a new layer, and we are going to call this layer the wing. And what I would like to do when I start is kind of build up. So I'm going to start with what I feel like is going to be on the most, the bottom part of this layer. And that that's these little shadows over here that are cast by this wing. So we're just going to quickly draw a couple of paths down here and using our pen tool and our eyedropper tool to select fill color, we're just going to draw a couple of, of paths to uh, make this shadow. So grab the eyedropper, select the color, and then I'm going to open up this and dr drag the path below the other one because uh, it's all about the proper uh, layering of the different shapes that you draw. So now I'm moving on to this darker shadow here and it's a very thin sliver over here so it doesn't look like much but we're just gonna keep this simple and we don't need to draw this bottom line it can be pretty rough because we're just going to take that path and we're going to drag it to the bottom of that layer. Great, now we can double click that box to bring up the color picker and select a nice dark shadow color for the, that shape, essentially. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the wing itself and we're just going to start by drawing a basic outline. Uh, this is um, kind of like when we're drawing the main shape of the car. So just getting a basic outline that all of the highlights and shadows are going to live on top of. Awesome. So when I get to this point here, I realize that I'm kind of zoomed in. So I'm going to switch over to my magnifier and zoom out a bit. And I've let go of the path that I've started drawing. So in order to grab that back, I'm going to get my screen set to where I want, switch back to the pen tool, and when you see this slash pop up next to the pen tool, that diagonal slash, that means you can click on that anchor point and just pick up that line where you left off. Okay, so I'm just going to speed the rest of this up since we've covered this multiple times and finish out drawing the main path for this wing overall. All right, so now I'm going to take my, I'm going to turn the shading layer back on so that I have a better color palette to choose from. And I will turn on my eyedropper tool and select the same color that I used for the body of the Civic. And once I turn everything off, you can see that the wing has set itself behind the windows. So I'm going to take the windows layer and just drag it underneath the layer that I'm going to use for the license plate. And that puts that wing layer right on top, right in front of everything. So now we can turn off a few of our layers. And then this way, there's less of a distraction when drawing this wing. So I like to turn off everything that I need to, show the original, and then get back to the layer that I'm drawing on. So we're gonna turn off that shape that we just drew since it's a fill and we wouldn't be able to see all of these lovely details. We will come back to that path in a minute. So let's go ahead and begin drawing a couple of the highlights and the shadows on the wing. Oh, so I can't see the corner, so I forgot to turn off the shading layer, so we'll turn that off. And then now we can see the whole path that we're going to be drawing here. Awesome. So we're stuck on a fill right now, so I'm going to switch this back over to stroke and just speed this up a little bit and finish drawing out a couple of these highlights and shadows. Now I drew that line like that so that I don't have to be exact, just like this one. Don't have to be exact. In fact, I'm drawing a little bit in on the path that 
that's underneath of it. But that's because we're going to take that first highlight path that we drew and we're going to drag that back up to the top so that that sits on the top. All right, so now I'm gonna come in and just draw a couple more shadows down here to give a little extra detail. And all of these colors can change. Right now, the goal is to just get the paths drawn and we can adjust the colors later, which we will do. Okay, so now this looks kind of like a mess, this shape here. So I always like to come back in, use my direct selection tool and just kind of make some finer adjustments so that this is a little more believable and doesn't look as sloppy as it does. But a lot of times when, you, when you're drawing, you're gonna have to go back in and make some adjustments. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off a couple of layers or a couple of paths that I don't need. And this main one here, I keep losing it. So we're just gonna double click and call it the main wing. And that way, out of all of these things that say path, main wing sticks out a lot easier so I can turn it on and off e uh, more easily to be able to see what I'm drawing. Okay, so picking back up the pen tool again, we're going to come in and draw a couple of the shadows that live on the other underside of this wing to sort of illustrate the reflections that are happening. And again, I'm just drawing the shapes right now. I'm not worrying about assigning the colors just yet. It's not a main focus of mine until I get all of the paths drawn. Then I know I can go back and assign the colors uh, appropriately. That's just how I work. Some people work completely differently, work on one small section at a time. But with, for me, I like to try to get as many of the paths drawn in a particular instance, and then I can go back and adjust the colors uh, as I see fit. And then likewise, like for this dark shadow or this dark black part here, um, I'm not going to draw behind there because I'm going to simply drag that to the bottom so that it sits right on top of the main wing path. Great, so now we're going to go through and just by using our eyedropper tool and our color dialog box, we can adjust the colors of the wing to make them a little bit more believable and fit more in the illustration. Again, white is an extremely hard color to draw. Uh, especially this, which is a little off-white. So it's a constant balance between adding enough yellow, but not making it look brown or dirty. I have a background in print, so that's currently why I am working in CMYK, but further illustrations, um, Moving forward, I believe after this Civic, I start working in RGB because it's uh, it just looks so much more vibrant than CMYK. But for this illustration, I was working in CMYK because it's just, it's what I'm used to. So as you can see, a lot of color adjustments here. This wing was a little more difficult than I expected, even though um, it's not comprised of too many shapes, but getting the colors just right uh, was a little tricky. Uh, overall, I think the screen record time for changing colors on this was about 20 minutes. So that's looking pretty good. I like where that's going. So uh, just to not completely miss all of the details, we're gonna grab our ellipse tool again, just like we used for drawing the muffler tips. And we're just gonna use a simple black stroke for these circles here. Great. And then basically, we're just gonna duplicate that and drag it over to the next circle and just make minor adjustments so that 
each one isn't exactly the same. They're all relatively similar, but like you can see here, this one's a little smaller. So we just wanna make sure that we're making the necessary adjustments. This one's a little bigger. Great. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we'll turn all of these paths that we drew back on and there's our wing. All right, guys, in the next episode, we are going to cover the amazing taillights on this Mugen Civic. So be sure to stay tuned for that. That's coming up soon. As always, thanks for watching and hitting that like button. If you're interested in more Adobe CC tutorials and other car related nonsense, consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram and Patreon pages, which are linked below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.